Okay, people, it is February 16, 2019 in the Big Bear area of Southern California, San Bernardino National Forest. So we are doing a calm before the storm video because we have a winter storm warning that was issued for this area for tomorrow. And uh, once again, I don't know why they issued a winter storm warning. They're only saying three to five inches during the day. And But I guess if it accumulates all throughout the whole day, we could get eight inches or so. So if that happens guys then fantastic so but anyway as i always tell you guys winter storm warning is our most uh that is the that's the best warning that we can get when it comes to winter weather obviously blizzard warnings are nice but a blizzard you can get a squall line come through and be done in 15 20 minutes and you'll just have blizzard conditions so uh, but we have the winter storm warning you guys and uh, yeah we're expecting three to five inches during the day it's supposed to start about noon tomorrow maybe one and uh, go on through the evening so be prepared people um, as I said we do have some um, some weather coming in and it's gonna be great it's gonna be great winter storm warning as of tonight well it's actually as of right now but we're not gonna get any weather until tomorrow so yep 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 we are getting some cold weather though it's 26 degrees my vehicle says 28, but I know that's incorrect. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, earlier today, I I kind of uh, had a few cuss words in some of my uh, videos. No excuse, it was just a long day, you guys. Um, there's truly no rationalization for it. Uh, I was just, you know, in a bad mood. Woke up really early, it took me almost four hours to get down the hill. Um, and then it was just a nightmare trying to deal with these people and then a nightmare getting back uh, yeah it was just all in all not a wonderful day and then I have to read comments from some pompous fools like like dude it's just so funny to me how people can hide behind a computer and virtue signal all day long um, <laughs> you know it's amazing to me but um, whatever floats their boat man whatever floats their boat I'm gonna respond in in kind because that's that's just me um, two wrongs do not make a right but I'm not gonna let someone bully me I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get them right back so um, and a lot of these a lot of these people who who, who, do, who have issue with me they know where I live you guys know right next to the best Western it, if you really have a problem with me hit me up let's meet somewhere I'm not kidding like I'm not joking hit me up meet me somewhere and we can handle this um, you know feel free to run your mouth but run your mouth to my face and uh, and I'll put your teeth down the back of your throat um, anytime any place so anyway guys thank you again for backing me up you guys always do you guys always support me and you guys actually talk smack to these pompous losers who uh, who as I said virtue signal who th who think their shit doesn't stink and that it's their world and we're all just passing through it and uh, yeah so anyway um, it's you guys that mean everything to me and when I get a comment from some of you who I know have been here a long time who actually are concerned about something I definitely listen and I and I take it into consideration and if it if the suit if the shoe fits I wear it but uh, other than that like uh, yeah just unbelievable just just some of these just total fucking oh gosh there's the curse we're freaking losers but anyway Hang on, guys. I got to get some mail and I'll come back out All right, here. guys. So, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. You guys know I get a, a bit frustrated with just, just the total tools who like to, you know, put in their two cents um, because they're probably living in mommy's basement and just total losers. Um, I just really wish I could slap them around, um, but they just don't have the courage. They got to talk smack behind a laptop. But anyway, guys, that's 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 enough. That's enough because I'm no, I'm not, I'm no better than they are by running my mouth like this. But they know the offer stands. The Best Western is 42200 Moon Ridge Road. It's directly next door to my house. Hit me up. Hit me up. And, uh, and uh, practice falling down because uh, I'm going to put you on the ground. Anyway. So we're going to go all the way to the dam, you guys, for this long video. It's not, and it's not going to be too long, but it might be actually. I want to go all the way to the dam because the road's closed. So we're going to see how empty this 
Highway 18 is all the way to the dam. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. So anyway, oh yeah. So it is 28 degrees, 8.08 p.m. in the Big Bear area. And as I said, we're, we're heading to the dam. I feel like Happy Gilmore when I was like, God, I hate that Bob Barker. It's just how I feel about some of these people, man. Like, I don't know why I let them take up so much space in my head just for leaving stupid comments. Oh, you, you drive like an asshole. What an idiot this guy is. How does anybody even follow him? What an idiot. <laughs> it's like, seriously, dude. Seriously, dude, your mom followed me last night, dude. She followed me good, too. So don't be don't be giving me that. Man. Anyway. Um, oh, food. So right here, guys, left here, Azteca Grill. Some of the best tacos in town, I believe. I love Azteca Grill. Um, it's fantastic. They have great food, great price. Um, very, very authentic Mexican food. I know you guys are saying, oh, how does this gringo know about authentic Mexican food? Trust me, guys. Yo, yo, yo conoce, yo conoce la, la comida mexicana porque es mi favorito. La número uno comida para mí es comida mexicana. Cuando yo estaba abajo, yo quería a comer a la restaurante que se llama Alberto's. Yo me gusta Alberto's muchísimo, pero no, no, no tenía tiempo. Anyway, so we're gonna see what it's like all the way out here. If we can get past this guy, we'll be able to have our brights on. Oh my God, this guy's such an idiot the way he's driving. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Seriously. While I have all my friends on here, thousands of you, I don't know why I let like these worthless people whose existences are meaningless affect me, but I do. I have feelings just like everybody else. And uh, it just hurts my feelings that people pass judgment without even knowing me. But that's what they do. And frankly, that's the state that I live in, in, in freaking California. Yeah. Anyway, this guy's going 19 miles per hour, but that's okay, man. That's okay, man. I wonder if, if I can pass him, man. But I don't want to pass because uh, there's another car up here and it could be John Law. Oh my gosh, but look, look what the guy's gonna do. He's, he's gonna pass the guy going 25 miles an hour. Whoa. Yeah, look at this guy. Turn off your brights, buddy. I, d I wasn't flashing you, dude. So, now we can turn on the brights. Boom! Not that that makes much of a difference, but I wanted you guys just to be able to kind of get a good look at this calm before the storm video. See what we're working with. We're coming up to Boulder Bay right now. I know these nighttime videos kind of suck, you guys. Forgive me. Um, but it is the calm before the storm. I've done a couple other ones during during the day. I didn't get a chance to really go by the lake and, and do a great lake video, but by tomorrow, it should be pretty good. And we're not gonna have any more melting for the next couple days. Tomorrow's high temperature is supposed to be in like the low to mid 20s. So just be aware when you guys come up here, always bring extra clothes with you, warm blankets in the car, food and water to last you a week just in case. I mean, it's not like you're in the boondocks up here but if, uh, if something were to happen and you're stranded for six, seven, eight hours because Caltrans cannot get to you, CHP cannot get to you, I don't want, you, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. So just, uh, just make sure you have extra food, water, supplies in your car. Have your chains with you guys. Please have your chains with you. Um, I get that question all the time. It's very important for me to get for you guys to have chains. Um, better to be safe than sorry. And I swear I just saw a snowflake. I swear I just saw a snowflake. 
But yeah, anyway, I feel like such a coward blocking some of these people because I want to keep on talking smack and I want to win. <laughs> you know, like, like uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not one who just sits back and uh, kill them with kindness. You know, that's what my mom always taught me growing up. Just kill them with kindness. You know, don't let it get to you. But I do. I do. That's right. I have a lot of your support. And the, and those of you who are talking smack, like, like I, I give you like one opportunity. If I see it, I just block you. Don't need you. Don't need you. You can go troll, troll other people. I just don't have time for it. I don't have time to be reading those stupid comments because I have other important comments that I need to respond to that keep keep people safe or at least keep them safer. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, we're coming up uh, pretty close to the dam, dam, to the Big Bear Dam. And you'll see when we get up here, they're gonna make us turn around, but we're gonna drive as far as we can go. And hopefully they don't give us too much crap, eh? Look, oh, look at how fast he's going, guys. He's going 25 miles an hour on some turns. Oh my gosh. Who does he think he is? Who does this guy think he is? Yeah? Whoa. Wow. I can't believe this. I'm gonna write him a nasty message from my mommy's basement because I'm a loser. No offense to anybody who lives with their mom and dads, dude. I'm not calling you losers. If you're my friends, I'm not calling you losers. Um, I Right before I moved here, I was with my mom at my mom's house for about eight months. Because I moved back in after my last rehab. And uh, so I'm not, you know, just take it for what it is, guys. Take it for what it is. Personally, I believe if you're 18, you should be on your own anyway. You should always be on your own and you should be taking care of your parents. But that's just me, bro. That's just me. That's not too... Uh, th those sentiments are not reflected too much in the state of California, though. Where work hard, earn your own keep. It's always about, like... California's state motto should be because everyone else deserves what you've worked so hard for. That should be California's state motto. We like to give give money to the derelicts and people who aren't even supposed to to to, uh, to uh, technically be here. But then again, we'll just step right over our own homeless people in the streets and our own veterans in the streets. But we'll give people who aren't even supposed to be here or people who who just are derelicts and losers. We give them welfare, and this and that. It makes no sense to me. I wish we would help all of our all of our veterans and all the people out there homeless. Seriously, like it's just, it's just mind mind blowing how ass backwards this state is. But it's all politics, and they're driving the state into the ground. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be here too much longer, you guys. Probably a couple more years um, until I can transfer my business and everything out to probably I don't know. I don't know. I I love the coast. I just, I just have a real problem with a lot of the uh, sentiment along the coast. I don't know where I want to move. I want to move somewhere where it snows a lot. Maybe Mammoth. Um, but that's still in California. So I, I don't necessarily know where. So guys, check this out. Look straight ahead. It's pitch black. They have it closed down. So we're going to go straight ahead so you guys can see what it looks like to have the gates completely shut down from over here. Absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Yo no sé por qué es este es cerrado, um, pero dicen hay uno mudslide. And I, guys, I don't know how to say that in Spanish. I feel like a total douche. So if someone could help me with that, that'd be great. So look, guys, check this out. We are right here. If I ruled the world, imagine that. Look at that, guys. Just totally closed. I've never seen it closed like this. Um, I don't know one time I did but that's it so uh, yeah guys forgive me for for my rants sometimes I just uh, if you guys don't like it then go somewhere else go to a, 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 a different channel I want people here I can relate with 
um, who I can talk to and vent with. Like, this is a venting situation for me. Like, you guys are like my therapist, and it's so nice to be able to talk to you guys and let you guys know how I'm feeling. Um, so thank you for listening. I appreciate you guys big time. Um, I don't mean to sound like a whiny little punk. I, I, I really don't. So if I'm sounding like that, forgive me. Um, but, yeah. So I'm just going to try to shut up on on the douche nozzles and their stupid comments. Um, I really hope you guys lash out at them. As I said, two wrongs don't don't make a right, but we got to stick together here, folks. we got to stick together. Uh, people are not, I'm not going to let anybody pile on top of you guys. If you guys have any issues with anybody, you let me know. And I'll, and, and, and I'll say something to them. You guys are my family. You guys don't even understand this. You guys are my family. If I didn't care about you guys, I wouldn't talk about this stuff or put myself in a vulnerable, a vulnerable position like that to feel weak. But I let you guys know that that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling vulnerable, I'm feeling weak, which is why I respond to these people in kind, how they respond. Um, it's And guys, it's very few. Like out of 50 comments, one of them is a jerk comment. So it's not a huge, huge deal, but I have feelings, hurts my feelings, and uh, um, I just wish they had the courage to actually, um, you know, if they're, if they're really gonna talk smack, talk smack, anyway. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> so guys, look at this. This is just dead, empty. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And forgive me about the long calm before the storm video, but uh, very important to me. And guys, the winter storm warning has just been extended for the Big Bear Lake area. So that is leading me to believe that the storm is intensifying and it's probably going to start a little bit later than originally anticipated. So... We're expecting it at about noon tomorrow, noon to one o'clock tomorrow, and we shall see what ends up happening. It's gonna be nice, because I don't open my doors for work till noon tomorrow, so I'm gonna sleep in till about 11.59, because I know I'm not gonna get to sleep till about four this morning. So, the winter storm warning expires in one day and seven hours from right now. So, Monday morning at 3 a.m., the winter storm warning expires. We will have been slaughtered by the storm most of tomorrow afternoon and evening. As I said, guys, just be prepared. Um, just know driving up here is going to be a friggin' nightmare because Highway 18 is not going to be back open. And unfortunately, this next system could, um, could you know, uh, add to the problems that they're having on Highway 18. And we don't want that. Um, so just know you're going to be taking Highway 38 or you're going to have to drive up the back route to Highway 18 through uh, Apple Valley and Lucerne Valley. And honestly, guys, either way, I'd be happy with it at this point. And just give you guys, give yourselves extra time. Give yourselves extra time. I can't stress it enough. Give yourselves extra time so you're not stressing out when you're driving up here. Stressing out while you're driving on these roads can be extremely dangerous because you're probably, your reaction time is not gonna be what it normally is because your mind's just wandering, going about other things, thinking about things that are just driving you crazy, like why are people driving like such idiots? Um, yeah. Why won't this person pull over and let the line of 150 cars by? Like those things. Um, don't let that stuff stress you out. I'll take that stress for you guys. Now, maybe if I didn't drive as much, guys, I wouldn't get stressed out like that. I, you know, that kind of makes sense, right? I wouldn't get as stressed out if I'm not driving as much, doing, doing these videos as much. But because I'm so focused on getting you guys the best visuals and the right timing, it, it becomes difficult for me, guys, to not get frustrated with just selfish people out there. And yeah, obviously, I'm being selfish trying to get my videos for you guys and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm experienced at this. I'm experienced at this.
Yeah, I don't think we've passed one car, have we? Oh wait, I think we passed one car. And he's going out that way for some reason to the Highway 18, for, and he's probably uh, probably didn't realize that the road's closed. Funny enough, there are no signs driving this other way saying that Highway 18's closed. That's kind of frustrating. Thankfully, I already knew it, but it's a little bit frustrating when they don't have the signs posted. Just like when Mike and I were on uh, Highway 138, we were going to, uh, we were turning into the Hesperia area and there was, the whole lane was blocked off saying road closed. And we had driven all that way out of the way and we had a lot of business that we were missing up on the mountain and that put us both in a blind panic and we decided just, just just to go anyway because I told them that was probably from two days ago they just haven't removed those flooding signs so we we went through and we saw where there was a huge mudslide and we were able to pass through it and make it back into a uh, hysteria then we took a shortcut to Bear Valley Road from there to get to Highway 18 it was pretty pretty cool guys but it was just a real hectic day so maybe that's why I'm not taking these comments like jokes, like the people who wrote them are. They're just jokes. Just uh, <laughs> sad excuses for humans. But it is what it is. So yeah, guys, just give yourself plenty of time. Highway 18 on the front side is closed from uh, Snow Valley to the Big Bear Dam. You're not going to have much, much of a, much of a chance that going that way. So you're going to have to come up Highway 38, you guys, or go around to the backside through uh, Lucerne Valley to Highway 18, and you'll be, you'll be gold. It only took me 15 minutes from the Mitsubishi plant and a little bit of traffic to get to the top. No traffic stopped, but just, just quite a few cars going up. It was great though. It was fast. So. Man, I've been just running my mouth this whole time. Hope my information's helping you guys. Uh, once again, places to stay, Robin Hood Resort and Best Western, I've stayed there so I can vouch for them. They're great places. Um, let's see here, in Airbnb, our friend Melissa Wildbacker owns one. She actually, uh, I've stayed there two, two, two different occasions. They're wonderful people, and I'm sure they would love for you guys to Stay there. They, uh, their Airbnb is right next to Snow Summit. We're very close to it, at least. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Let's see. For food, um, the best burgers in town are at Murray's Bar. So that kind of sucks. It's it's at a bar for you younger people. The second best, um, second best burgers, man. That's gonna be a close one. But Broadway Cafe is pretty good. And believe it or not, Denny's has a dang good burger, guys. I know you're laughing your butts off right now, but Denny's has a good burger. Um, let's see, Mexican food, Azteca Grill. And then there's a Mexican place uh, in Bear City. I don't know why I'm so rude and forgetting the name of it, but it is unbelievably good. It tastes like Alberto's. And that's why I love it so much. I don't know why I'm not remembering it, but I ate there yesterday. So it's really, really, really good. Um, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> Captain's Anchorage, if you guys like prime rib, fantastic. And they have good steak as well. But the prime rib is just to die for. You guys would love that. It's on Moon Ridge Way. Captain's Anchorage. And then what else? Um, Peppercorn Grill is phenomenal. A little pricey as well, but they have fantastic steaks. Um, and then let's see. Oakside, I've been there. Um, if you eat there, make sure if you get a steak, get the filet. Because the other one was a little bit tough for me, and it was like $40 for it, too. It wasn't that that great. Um, I'm sure it was an anomaly that time, though. I'm not talking smack on the plates. I'm just saying it wasn't that good. Um, let's see here. If I ruled the world, imagine that. This place right here, the Holiday Inn, a lot of people say they love staying there. That's probably our biggest resort here. So just so you guys know, I'd stay there. I'd be stoked to stay there, but I've never stayed there, so I can't give you guys 
the proper advice by saying, oh yeah, the place is awesome, stay there. Because I don't know. But I've just heard good things. As you guys know, I'm a jack-in-the-box fiend, late night especially. These guys throwing snowballs in the street. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love seeing people have fun up here. Oh, look at that. Damn, damn. Dookie booty, dookie booty, dookie. Boot it, dookie. Boot it. Dookie booty, dookie booty, dookie booty. If I had my train horn, we'd blast it right now and scare the crap out of these people to the right. But then I'd get more virtue signalers coming on here trying to show everybody how wonderful they are. Trying to signal how perfect they are when typically when people do stuff like that, they're just projecting. And uh, I like to call them on it, but you know, I'm, I'm not perfect either. I'm so far from perfect, it's a joke. So far from perfect, but I try to do perfect things for you guys. So, like I try to make these videos as perfect as possible. I try not to curse in these videos as much as, or, you know, as, I try to curse as little as possible. Um, you know, sometimes it slips out. Just like pre, uh, never mind. <laughs> oh God, I was gonna get gross. You guys know where I was going though. Anyway, um, Saturday night in Big Bear Lake, California, 26 degrees, 8:29 p.m. p.m. And we're coming up on Petter Street, Petter Road. It sounds like a branch of like a jail. Yeah, all the Petters are over here. <laughs> Thank God I've never been to any jail, man. Never had to deal with that. Never got caught. I'm just kidding. Just never did anything really stupid to have to really go to jail, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're back at Big Bear Boulevard. We just drove to the Big Bear Dam just to uh, see how quiet it is on that side of town. And This is kind of a long calm before the storm, but I hope you guys are okay with it. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the roads are fantastic on Big Bear Boulevard. I'm having no problems driving on it. I want you guys to know that right now I'm going 34 and we are golden. We, we are good, but look, all these wet spots right here and stuff, everything you see that's wet like that, guys, that is ice right now. So just be aware of that. That is ice. That is ice. And this guy just cut me off for some odd reason. I don't know why, but hey, got to do what he's got to do. So, what was I saying? Uh, okay, so for other food as well, um, pizza, village pizza is my favorite. I know a lot of you like Saucy Mamas. You're gonna really, really be pissed at me now. I've never eaten there. Yeah, I've never eaten at Saucy Mamas. I know it's embarrassing to admit that. I live in Big Brown, I've never eaten at Saucy Mamas. Um, it just doesn't sound appetizing. I don't like that name, it's just such a stupid name. It just sounds like a bunch of drunk people are making pizza. Like, that's just not appetizing for me. So, unfortunately, that that name turned me off. Um, especially because I don't like drunks. Because I because I am a drunk. I'm a recovering drunk. Drunk idiot when I was drinking. And I can self-deprecate all I want. It's good for us to, you know, look, look in on ourselves. I'm not, like, truly taking it to heart when I talk smack to myself. But you gotta give yourself some crap once in a while. As I always tell you guys, take life seriously when you need to. You know, when your friends and family need you, then take life seriously. But otherwise, enjoy life. Try to laugh, try to have fun. Um, respond to trolls in kind. Like just, yeah, like I just don't wanna be a puss, man. And, it, and it's, I, you know, it, it almost seems like that's what these generations are taught just to just stand back and let people walk all over you. And, uh, like It just makes no sense. I'm gonna teach my kids, if you're being bullied and you feel like there's no way out, you, 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 like if there's no way out, you initiate it and you drop that fool. Punch him right in the jaw and drop him. If you can't get out of the situation. And if it's a bully, they're just gonna keep on bullying you. Telling mommy and daddy and the principal is not gonna help you kids. It's just gonna make things worse for you. Then you're gonna have to hide a lot more. 
I know kids commit suicide because of stuff like that. You need to stick up for yourself, kids. You know, listen to your parents, obviously, but Uncle Nick's telling you guys, stick up for yourselves. Don't be cowards, okay? Someone's being, being mean to you, stand up for yourself because you're worth it. You're important. Okay, don't let these other people get away with it. That's the problem we have is that people just tend to just, you know, just sit back and just let other people abuse them. If I ever saw anybody try to hurt any of you guys, it'd be the last thing they did. It'd be the last thing they did. But anyway, I love you guys tremendously. And I'm so, so blessed to do this for you guys all the time. It just makes me so happy. And look, and look at this guy. Yeah, I don't, oh, big pothole. Yeah, this, this guy's just a, really, buddy? Unbelievable. You better go around. There you go, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. Anyway, there it is, guys. Thank you for cruising. Thank you for listening to me vent. I'm going to try not to let these people take up any more space in my head because I'm sure they take up enough space in mommy's basement. So anyway, I love you guys and I'm not talking crap about staying out. If any of you stay with your moms and you're over 18, I'm sure you guys probably contribute rent because you guys are those type of freaking people who aren't selfish people. You guys have really, really changed my life. I love you guys tremendously. I love you, I love you, I love you. Peace out. Calm before the storm, 26 degrees, 8.35 p.m., February 16th in the Big Bear Lake, California area. Peace out, people.